My name is Cherry Tab, and I'm the co-founder and CEO of the Herzig Eye Institute. And yes, that's me having a vision correction procedure called a refractive lens exchange. It's my turn to be a patient. The surgeon performing the procedure is Dr. Anuj Bhargava, one of our incredible surgeons at the Herzig Eye Institute. All right, keep looking at the light there, Cherry. Good. Anyone that knows me knows that I've never been one to be satisfied with the status quo, and the procedure I'm having done today could be life-changing. So today we'll be doing a procedure called a refractive lens exchange. So we'll be exchanging uh, Cherry's uh, natural lens with an artificial lens. And the goal of doing this would be to uh, rid her of, of glasses to make her spectacle independent. Like so many who come here, I also want to be free of my glasses, but minutes before the surgery, I reflected on my situation and why I was prepared to allow cameras to film me. And I realized that what I really wanted to do is demystify the process. There's a lot of confusion or just a lot of apprehension that's based on not knowing. The surgery isn't for everyone, a procedure isn't for everyone. But I think if the person is struggling or, or frustrated with whatever their situation is, that the first step is educating. The second step is to find a place such as ours that will provide uh, the, the appropriate sort of regimen of diagnostics and meeting with the surgeon. So one of the reasons that I wanted to do this procedure and film it for the benefit of others is to basically show exactly every step of the way what it's like. My patient journey started well over a month before the actual procedure when I visited our new location in Ottawa and met with Dr. Bargava and our clinical and diagnostic team. It's important to be prepared knowing what you're going into. I had the, um, had the opportunity, of course, to uh, examine uh, Cherry preoperatively. So I know her, uh, I know her personality, I know her eyes. I've, we've done all the diagnostic testing. Um, so we've done all the calculations we need. So we use all that information to uh, sort of prepare us uh, for the procedure. Um, I've probably done upwards of 12,000 cataract surgeries and refractive lens procedures and you know, laser vision correction procedures. And so, you know, all that experience, um, you know, helps one to uh, prepare uh, for each, for the next case. Every patient has a story. My story started a while ago when I decided I was no longer willing to accept having poor vision that compromised some of my favorite activities. I play tennis regularly. For people that play tennis or play golf or hockey or anything where you have to um, have quick reaction time, you have to pay attention to what's happening on the other side, and if you have astigmatism like I do, well, it affects your ability to play. I'm a highly competitive tennis player, and um, it's really you know, something that um, affects my enjoyment of the game. Every patient's story is unique, and it's the surgeons here at the Herzig Eye Institute who really want to get to know that story and make the best clinical decisions. There's a number of different refractive surgery options, but for her, um, I felt this was the best procedure. She um, is in the age category where people can uh, start to begin to, uh, to develop cataracts, and so a corneal refractive procedure uh, would not be ideal for her. Uh, she's in fact had laser vision correction many years ago, um, and so so a lens-based procedure was the best option for her. It's all about putting the patient first. Something I learned after my first laser vision correction experience, and we've been unwavering in our mission since we founded the Herzig Eye Institute in 1996. So after all the diagnostics were done, it was time for the full procedure. In my case, the best procedure was with a lens called the iHance. So there's two parts to the procedure. We're doing actually what's called laser-assisted refractive lens exchange. So the first part of the procedure, we'll be using a laser called the catalyst laser to uh, perform certain parts of the procedure, including making incisions in the lens and softening the lens up uh, and marking it for the astigmatism axis. And then she'll be taken to the operating room where we will perform the extraction of the lens and implant the new artificial lens and align it uh, according to her axis of astigmatism because uh, this particular lens has to be placed in a, in a particular orientation for it to work uh, uh, optimally. Perfect. With the procedure over, I am remarkably able to get up. Doing okay? Yeah. 
You did great. Good. Yeah. <laughs> and walk out of the operating room unassisted. <laughs> Everything went exactly as, as planned, um, and uh, within a few days, I would say maybe three to five days, she should be back to most normal activity. The next day, I could see distance up close and in between without my glasses. I got rid of my astigmatism and nearsightedness, and I have my reading vision back. It's the best vision I've had in my entire life, and I love playing tennis again. I'm seeing everything better. It's incredible. It's, it, it's life-changing. She got farsighted, lost near vision first, and then distance vision. And then overnight, it all came back to her. And I love hearing about it every day. I feel younger because I can see as if I'm younger. Until you've lost it and regained it, it, it it's really incomparable. The technology has come a long way, but you know, the sad old expression, if we see further ahead than those who came before us, is because we stood on the shoulders of giants. And uh, uh, certainly Dr. Herzig is one of those giants in our field. He was one of the first to introduce this type of technology to Toronto, to Canada, actually. Every year, the technology gets better and better, and uh, uh, we're just, uh, we're the beneficiaries of that.